Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create ClickUp tasks from new GitHub issues. Suppose I am having a software company and now I want that whenever a new issue will be raised in my GitHub account related to the software, I want that a new task should be created in ClickUp for my backend team. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate both these applications and because they do not have any kind of native integration between them, therefore we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do, we have GitHub in our trigger and ClickUp in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically create a task in ClickUp whenever a new issue will be created in GitHub. Okay, so let's start learning this process step by step. In order to create this automation, we will have to integrate GitHub with ClickUp. And that we are going to do with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this homepage, we can find two options here, sign in and sign up free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it is not going to take more than two minutes also when you will create the account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test different automations okay so as i am already an existing user therefore i am clicking on sign in and this is the all app section of pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli now to create this workflow we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and it will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows and we can also create multiple folders on this dashboard to save our workflow. Here, as you can find that I have two folders. In this test integration folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. So in the same manner, you can also create multiple folders on this dashboard and save your workflows accordingly in them. Now, in order to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it and a dialog box will appear in front of first of all it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow so let us give a name so i have given the name as create clickup task from github issue automatically in the same manner you can give any name to your workflows according to your choice and after giving the name you can also select the folder in which you want to save your workflow so from the drop down i have selected the folder as test integration as i want to save this particular workflow in test integration folder okay so i have selected the folder now we will click on create and as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards the trigger. Okay, so we can have only one trigger in any workflow because the trigger commands the entire workflow and it initiates the workflow. Whereas we can have multiple actions as we want. Okay, now let's understand trigger and action once again with the example of this workflow. Here we are going to take GitHub in our trigger and click up in our action and we want that as soon as a new issue will be created in GitHub automatically by using the same response a new task should be created and added in our click up account. Okay, so here the action is following what the trigger commands. Now after understanding the concept of trigger and action let's start creating this workflow. First of all we have to select our trigger application which is GitHub. So let's select it. And now we have to select the trigger event. So in the trigger event, we will select issues as we want that this workflow should trigger whenever a new issue will be created in GitHub. Okay. So we have selected issues as our trigger event. And now we will click on connect. Here we can find two options, add new connection or select existing connection. So in order to create a new connection with GitHub, we have to select add new connection. But if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. So here I'm going to select add new connection. And as we have clicked on add new connection, now we have to click on connect with GitHub. And now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our GitHub account. Here we have to click on authorize Pabli. And as we have clicked on authorize Pabli, here we can find that our authorization has become successful. Because I was already logged into my GitHub account, therefore the connection with Pabli Connect has become easy and simple. Okay, so you also have to keep in mind always to keep logging to your applications before making up a connection with Pabli Connect. Now let's move on and here we have to select the owner. So the owner is already selected. Now the next is repository. So we can find two repositories over here. Let me take you to my GitHub account. And here these are my repositories. So I am going to select this Pabcon repository in Pabli Connect as I want that whenever a new issue will be created in this particular repository, then only the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect. 
so from the drop down i'm going to select papcon okay so i have selected the repository and now we will simply click on save and send test request and as we have click on save and send test request it is showing waiting for response that means now we have to do a test submission so that the response could be captured over here in public connect how we are going to do that by creating a new issue in github okay so let us go and create an issue in github here i am on papcon repository in github now we will go on the issue section and here we can find several issues are already there now in order to create a new issue we are going to click on this new issue button and here first of all i'm going to assign a title to my new issue okay so let's say the title is mapping issue okay so just a random title now we will click on submit new issue okay here we will leave a comment so that we can add a description to our issue a new issue related to mapping okay so i have given a description to the issue let's click on comment and here our comment is posted and an issue is created now we have created the new issue let's go back on public connect and here we can find that we have already received the response over here so as soon as a new issue is created in github we have received the response of the same issue here in public connect now we are going to use this same response in order to create a new task in clickup okay so for that let's move towards our action step and here in the action application we are going to select clickup let's select clickup here and now we will select the action event so our action event will be create a task as we want to create a new task by using the response of github issue okay let's select create task and then we will click on connect here from the given options i am going to select add new connection if you want you can also go with the existing connection so after selecting add new connection we have to enter api token now from where we are going to find this api token for that we have to go on our clickup account and under profile section we will find our api token so let me take you to my clickup account and here from the left bottom we can find the option of profile let's click on it and here after coming on the profile section we can find the option of apps when we will select the apps here is our api token let's just copy it and we will paste it here in public connect done click on save and our clickup account is successfully connected with pably connect so let's move on and here we have to enter the details in order to create a new task so first of all it is asking us for the workspace name i only have one workspace here which is already selected the next is space so let me take you to my clickup account we will go back and here we can find that on my clickup account i have different space and i want to create a new task in this connect space so i'm going to select it here from the drop down so the space is selected now the next is folder name in which folder you want to create your new task so again we will go on our clickup account and here under this connect space i have multiple folders i want that whenever a new issue will be created in github automatically the task should be created in this test details folder so we will select the folder name from the drop down test details and now the list name so in this folder the next is list name so in which list you want to create a task so let us again go on our clickup account and in the test details folder i have two list the first is list and the second is assign test so i want to create a new task in this assign test list okay so here from the drop down i'm going to select assign test so the next is task name here we want to create a new task in clickup by using github issue response so we have received all the details related to the issue from github issue response and we are going to use the same response in order to map the details over here so we will map the task name so we will map the task name by using github issue response and mapping is not a difficult task we just have to select our previous step like this and here we can find all the details so we can either scroll down to find the data or even we can search here in the search bar so i am going to search the title here and here is our title mapping issue we will select it and it is mapped now because we have mapped this title every time a new response will be captured from github issue this title is going to be replaced with a new title but if we will enter it manually then it will become static and it is not going to change therefore wherever we want that the data should replace along with a new response we have to use mapping there and if we want that data should remain same with every new response there we use static mapping that is there we type the data manually so here because we have mapped the task name by using our previous response therefore this 
this data is going to change with every new response. Okay, now let's move on. And here, if you want to add a description for your task, you can add that also. The next is assignee ID. So let me select the assignee ID from the drop down and now the tags. So now I'm going to assign a tag to this task. It is given that if you want to assign more than one task, then you have to use comma and space in order to separate the values. So here, let me show you how you have to do that. So I'm going to assign two tags here. First will be new. And now I will use a comma and a space and will enter another tag that is test. So I have assigned two tags here for this particular task. So in the same manner, you have to assign tags to your task by using comma and space. Okay, let's move on. And here we can also set the priority for this task. So I'm going to set the priority as high. Okay, and if you want, you can also enter the due date and time here. Okay, if you want to enter the time and the due date, you have to convert it into timestamp and then you have to enter it. So because I'm not entering the date and time here, I am ignoring these fields. Let's simply click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response and the ID of the task created is given over here. Now because we have received this ID, that means a new task is created in our test details folder. So let's go and check. And here we can find that in the assigned test list, a new task which is named as mapping issue is created over here. Let us open it. And yes, we can find that the task is created and also the tags which we have assigned are given over here. So this means that our integration is successful and we have successfully created this automation. So in the same manner by following these simple steps, you can easily integrate your GitHub account with ClickUp so that whenever a new issue will be raised in your GitHub account, automatically you can create a new task in ClickUp for your backend team. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pably Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pably Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.